Should you live in Secord, West Edmonton? This is an Edmonton neighborhood we're gonna talk about in this video. Hi, this is Melody Wilson with the Real Life team at Remax Elite. And today we're gonna to talk to you about a West Edmonton neighborhood called Secord. Secord actually used to be where I lived prior to living in Rosenthal. Now Secord is located really close to Rosenthal. I didn't move very far at all. It's actually the neighborhood right next over. Secord is located just off Winterburn Road and Stony Plain Road and in between 87th Ave. So it's, a, it's really grown. Uh, when I first moved there around 12 years ago, it was not as developed. There was only, I believe we were the second phase and now it's grown quite a bit. So in Secord, if you're looking in that neighborhood, there's a ton of different names and why is that? Well, when an area is being developed by a developer, they have names of communities as they try to sell different stages. So Secord started off as a Hopewell development and now there's other developers such as Melkor, and also MLC and Walton. And some of these developers have gone under in the meantime and been taken over by others. So that's why you'll see different names. Now in terms of Secord and the cost of living in Secord, depending on the neighborhood you're living in within Secord, you have HOA fees, homeowner association fees. Not all areas have this. In the older parts of Secord where we were at, there was no HOA fees. The new area such as West Secord, which is closer to Rosenthal, does have HOA fees. Now, that's just a yearly fee because the city of Edmonton no longer takes care of everything it used to take care of in all those older neighborhoods, such as the streets and just the general maintenance of the boulevards. So Secord's neighborhoods are comprised of College Woods, Henley Heights, Rosewood, which is the newer one, West Secord, and then just Secord in general. So if you're curious to know about those, you can Google them because that's where all the new builds are. New build lots are located mostly primarily in West Secord and Rosewood right now. The other areas are closing out and finishing up. If you're wondering what kind of homes you can find in Secord, they range all the way from apartments. There's some apartments for rent right by David Thomas King School, the K-9 school in Secord. They also have townhouses with condo fees, townhouses with no condo fees, half duplexes with single attached garages, double attached garages. There's called RPLs, which is the homes with the garages in the back, detached garage homes. And then of course the front attached garage homes. Front attached garage homes, there are zero lot lines in Secord and also just the regular ones. And of course we also have the walkouts in Secord also. So what's the cost of living in Secord in terms of the average home price? Well. The average home price in Secord is around $431,000 for single family homes. The highest home that sold in the last 12 months of recording is $635,000. That price has gone up quite a bit because in previous years it was a challenge to get anything over five, never mind over 600,000. There are a lot of homes that are selling in the five and $600,000 range, just not on MLS because a lot of these people are spending them on building custom and building new with builders and that is not recorded on MLS. So if you're looking for a house under $300,000 in Secord, you're gonna find a duplex or a townhouse product. If you're looking for a single family home with a detached garage, you're looking in the high threes and low fours. Just something to note as well, we've seen the builder prices increase quite a bit in the last couple weeks and months. So the prices that have sold in the last six months are also now not available for new builds. There's not even anything available to purchase. The quantity of spec homes in Secord is very low, just like the rest of Edmonton. Now there is resale product as well, and resale product is also the same range. If you're looking for an older home within the last 10 years, you're looking in the four to $500,000 price range. Homes are typically the size of the front attached garage. They're quite around the 1,800 to 2,300 square feet. Very popular square footage. If you're looking for anything over 2,500 square feet, there's a lot less opportunity. There are homes, however, just not as many. So what is nearby in Secord? Secord has a ton of paths that you can go down and that's where the walkout lots are. And also there is a rope park in the walkout area and that's a fun place for kids to kind of climb on ropes, 
There is also the Red Park, is what our kids call it, and it's right at the front of Secord, and they have a playground that was established right at the beginning when Secord first opened up, and it's close to this reserve bird sanctuary area. It's just a bunch of trees, and it's a cool path, very short, but it is a nice little tiny escape. And then they also have the playground at the David Thomas King School that everyone in the community raised money for to help the school have this amazing opportunity for kids to use that playground. So this West Edmonton neighborhood is also really close to a lot of amenities. When we first moved into Secor, there was hardly anything there, but now you're close to everything. So you've got all the amenities right nearby. The Save On Foods is literally minutes away. There's a lot of um, amenities in that complex. You've got the brew house, you've got the dollar store, you've got a gas station, and a whole bunch of other little shops as well. And that area is actually really close to the Anthony Hende. You can just hop on the 87th Ave and just hit the Anthony Hende. If you go down Winterburn Road and go towards Stony Plain Road, that connects to the Hende. Winterburn Road also connects to the Yellow Hen, and in the other direction it heads over to White Mud and South Anthony Hende. Now over in that direction down Winterburn South, you'll actually hit Costco and the River Cree. River Cree is really close by as well, and the Costco, of course, is everyone's favorite to attend, especially when you have children and are trying to make sure they're all fed. Now, some things that you can do with your family in and around Secord, other than the playgrounds, they also have baseball diamonds right at the tip of Secord. It's been there for a long time. They have walking paths over there. Lewis Estates Golf Course is really close by. Lewis Estates is right across a community and there's a golf course there and the driving range. There's lots of things for the kids to do in Secord. I also, when I used to live there, would come over to Rosenthal to use their spray park. So there's tons of things for your family to do. It's a very family friendly neighborhood. Lots of young kids and lots of young families that live in Secord. Secord also has a very active community league. So you will find events and things to do for your kids and courses to take, like the babysitting course, all being offered through the Secord Community League. Now, this is something that is not to be mistaken as part of the HOA. HOA is completely separate. The Community League is run by volunteers in the community that organize things for families and adults within the neighborhood, and it is a membership-based program. So take a look and check out their website. So why else would you live in Secord West Edmonton? Location, location, location. It is so prime. It is so close now to Spruce Grove if you need to access amenities that way. But you're also only about 20 minutes from pretty much everything. It's a little bit more of a drive to get to downtown at 30 minutes. And then getting to the University of Alberta is about a 30 minute drive. Now, if you are taking a bus, keep in mind there are more buses running in Seacord now because it's grown. However, bus servicing in the far west end of Edmonton is always a challenge. You will be taking your bus from Seacord either to the Lewis Estates, um, the Lewis Farms Transit Center or West Edmonton Mall as the main hub of transit. If you're curious what schools your kids would be going to, there are a few designated schools. So of course the David Thomas King School is only less than five years old. That is located right in the heart of Secord. They also have the Logos program at the Britannia Youngstown School, and that is designated for Secord, and there's a bus service that goes out there. And if you're looking for high school, you're looking at the Jasper Place High School as your designated high school. So Secord is a really affordable West Edmonton neighborhood to live in, and if you're curious to see what homes look like in the area, make sure to check out the links down below. And if you have questions and I didn't cover anything, please make sure to comment. Secord is a great West Edmonton neighborhood to live in, especially if you're looking for affordability, newer home, and lots of access to amenities. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys next time.